I know what you're thinking. All that boxing training paid off. <laughs> What was I doing? I mean, what? <laughs> why did I do that? I don't... Well, I do know, actually. I did it sort of... I thought I'd get sort of fit and lose a bit of weight, but there are easier ways than getting punched in the face. <laughs> and that wasn't the hardest bit. The worst was we had to have our um, percentage fat um, calibrated in this... You know, the bod pod? Did you see it on the Celebrity Fit Club? We had to sit in this little thing. I laughed at Rick Waller when he had to do it, and you have to... <laughs> And you have to sit there in your speedos. And I don't, it didn't go in the final programme, but they were filming it, and it was so embarrassing. And Grant Bovey came out at 8% fat. I came out at 25. <laughs> which, is, which is more than I could vote for, really. But you know what? Rick Waller came out 60% fat. I, true, I looked that up. That is the same percentage fat as a pork scratching. <laughs> true. It's true. No wonder he's got low self-esteem, being biologically similar to a pub snack. It must... <laughs> Actually, he hasn't got low self-esteem. I, I was watching it, I felt a bit sorry for him. I thought, they're having a go, right? But he didn't want to do it. He wasn't playing by the end. And uh, they eventually got around to weighing him and letting him know the weight. And he was 31 stone. And he, he went... <laughs> what? Where's the surprise? What were you thinking? <laughs> what... <laughs> what did you... What... You expect him to go... And Rick Waller, ten stone. <laughs> and you've just been carrying out a lot of padding, have I? Really? <laughs> oh, silly me. But uh, the, the next month he was weighed, he'd put on a few pounds, and he went... I don't believe it. I've hardly eaten a thing. <laughs> you have. <laughs> you, you, you must have. <laughs> if you eat more calories than you burn off, you put on weight. It's as simple as that. Do you know what I mean? But, I mean, we're not fat by American standards. They're proper. They are. They're gold medalists, aren't they? They're still, <laughs> some of them are different species. You see that, that thing on the Jerry Springer? Uh, Jerry Springer saves the world's fattest man. You see that? And it was this fella, and he was 75 stone. Amazing. And he was like a blob on the bed. No, not being nice, but he was. He was like a little... You have to look close and go, oh, yeah, it is a person. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> and, I, no, and I, you know, you go, oh, that's funny, and then you start... I started feeling sorry for him because he was really worried and Jerry Springer had to take the wall of his trailer off and <laughs> get him to hospital in a reinforced ambulance. And he was going, I don't want to die, Jerry. And it was quite moving. But then, no, it was, but... <laughs> I got over that. And then I thought... <laughs> as you do. And then I thought, when he was weighed one day and he was, say, 50 stones... <laughs> didn't he go, that's... That's a lot, isn't it? And they go, yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> so it's a lot. I mean, yeah, it is, it is it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite a lot for a human. Uh, <laughs> you know, for, for what is essentially a, a land mammal. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, I mean, there must have been a clue when he had to get someone else to read the scales. That way, <laughs> when you appear on the Ordnance Survey map, just stop eating. <laughs> <Cut out. laughs> But it is people who make excuses. I, I, there's nothing wrong with fat people. We all eat too much in the West. But it, it's just people say it's glandular. It's not glandular, is it? It's not. It's greed. <laughs> but just, just admit it. I've heard people saying it's like it's big bones. <laughs> yeah, big bones covered in meat and gravy. <laughs> I, I eat the occasional sweet. Fucking three-piece sweet, by the look of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why animals, uh, I hear you ask? Well, I've always been fascinated with them for, for an early age. I mean, anything to do with natural history. And um, this show is sort of uh, life on Earth, the bits David Attenborough left out. Um, and he's getting on a bit. He's not going to be around for everything. I can... <laughs> if I start now, soon, if, when he... I can... You know what I mean? And he's, he's getting very slow. That blue planet thing, that took him five years. <laughs> I bet the BBC were going, fuck it, what's he doing? <laughs> We've seen, come on, that, that, for half hour. So. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not pushing myself forward, but I think I can. Um, <laughs> well, he is a bit of a hero of mine, actually, um, David Attenborough. And the Blue Planet is a work of genius. And it did take five years to make, so I was, um, I was pleased when he was uh, rewarded 
uh, with a nomination at last year's Broadcast Awards for Innovation. Uh, lost out to Banzai. <laughs> Think of his little old face, do you know what I mean? I bet he was sitting there on his dicky bow and everything with the producers, and they go, and the nominations are Blue Planet. Banzai, no, don't, don't. don't, don't. <laughs> and the winner is, uh, as old as, I bet he was halfway to the fucking stage. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have got the panel after and said, what, what do you mean Banzai is, what, what do, <laughs> what? I showed a whale getting mugged. <laughs> we like shaky hand, man. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But there are over a million species of animal. Um, and uh, because we've got to be vague because we're finding new ones and classifying new ones every. I say we. I haven't. I'm not. <laughs> no, I don't need to go away and say it's all Gervais because he's classified. I don't. I haven't. I've done very little to actually towards the. I've done nothing towards it. <laughs> but there's there's a million, right? And combined with plants, there could be up to six million uh, species. There are there are 300 types of parrot. There are 800 types of tarantula. Not spider, just tarantula. There are a thousand types of bat. I don't think you need a thousand types of bat, to be honest, but I think a lot of that's nitpicking. <laughs> I think we could clump a few of There's probably about eight types, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon that's zoologists quota filling and getting money for every one they find. It's like a, a grand. <laughs> Found another one, have you? Yeah, look. What is it? Very slightly longer-eared bat. <laughs> look, look, it's just... Yeah, all right. Any more? Yeah. Chubby bat. <laughs> Have you just been overfeeding a pipistrel? <laughs> no. There are more species of fish than mammal, bird and reptile put together. And here's a very frightening statistic. By the end of this lecture, and it is a lecture... <laughs> no. um, by the end of this lecture, we will lose two species of animal. I won't be talking about them, it's not worth it. It's, uh, <laughs> well, waste of your time and mine, so let's move on. Um, OK. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> it's all right, it's a gnat. <laughs> not the big one. Oh, not the panda. Oh, oh, the panda. Oh, let's save the panda. We are. We're not shooting it, we're not eating it, we're not... We're, cut, we're giving it cash. I mean... <laughs> it's not meeting us halfway, is it? <laughs> yeah. It's not shagging. <laughs> to be honest, I don't... You, when did it stop doing that? I mean, it's as evolved as any other. It's been around for millions of years. When did it go, I'm not doing that anymore? <laughs> go on, no, 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 dirty, I'm not like that. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Playing with a tire, I'm not shagging her. Oh. <laughs> Is that the choice? One. Well, there, you're not, you're rare. We can't, oh, I don't like her. Um, <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll probably live forever anyway. We're goths. You're not goths. 